This is Solomon King Simon fighting out of Rhino in Waterford. He's in the black shorts and the white rash guard taking on Clinton Scott out of SPG Charlestown and the all black gentleman. This is the fight for me that I marked with an asterisk and said, yeah, this is going to be fun. Decky Larkin is your referee and we're underway. Clinton Scott wasting no time. An Olympic level wrestler representing Team Ireland shooting in for the takedown. Student, that's the difference there. It's yeah. relentless with the takedown. Switches up the chain attacks. When that single wasn't working, he dropped levels. And something you commented on earlier in the fight, er, earlier fights, Phil. Set up the takedown off the jab. And speaking with Solomon during the week as well, he said to me, this is what I want. I want to test myself against somebody of this caliber wrestling. This is what we're in this for, is to test yourself both physically and mentally. And yeah, he's feeling that test right about now. Solomon's doing very well to stand back up. He's looking to break off, nice. And Solomon broke on the scene and was ultra impressive, but while well, I played football, blew out his ACL, LCL and meniscus. Focused a lot on K1 and boxing, but is back in love with mixed martial arts as he's allowed grapple again. But not only is Clinton wrestling very well, he's also a decorated boxer having boxed for the army. So he, he sets up those shots very well with that boxing. Yeah, and there's the takedown again and it is levels, isn't it really, Richard, here? Yeah, it's something we haven't, we haven't, we haven't seen much of tonight either is the body shot. And Clinton landed a really solid body shot to, uh, to Solomon. Asking Solomon what his game plan was, he said, I'm going to punch him in the face, going to stop his takedown, and then I'm going to punch him in the face some more. But so far, he hasn't been able to follow that game plan as that takedown from Clinton has been absolutely relentless. Scott doing very well to defend his takedown against a very accomplished wrestler. See, there's the difference again. It's that head pressure straight away. He just manages to get that underneath the chin and control the body by forcing the head to move. Solomon looking maybe just to try and circle away from the cage if he can get separation here and but again that pressure by Scott leaning all his mass into the body of Solomon and on the high crotch good defense though by Solomon King Simon but that won't discourage Clinton Scott he will stay on this and look for that takedown a nice, nice knee yeah nice knee to the leg oh and Solomon, will he try and let's see the level of boxing of Clinton Scott? And as you said, Phil, nice boxed fight. in the army, but that was a nice, sharp right hand. A good sprawl now by Simon as well. That will give him confidence. Yeah, definitely. That may make him a little bit freer with his hands now that he's sprawled on one of the shots. Nice leaping right hand there by Scott himself. Yeah, nice overhand right and straight into the double leg. But again, Solomon doing really def good defensive work here. Just good heavy hips on the sprawl. I'd like to see him push that head down a little bit. But he's doing all the right things. Excellent. We will say excellent wrestling by Scott, but you've got to say Solomon Simon has shown a serious game, a, a defensive game in wrestling and stopping the takedowns later into the first round. That will give him confidence and momentum going into the second. Indeed, Noel Keith. Indeed. Just about to get on the way in the second round of this greatly contested lightweight bout between Solomon King Simon and Clinton Scott. Can Simon work off that defense? He had stopped, started to stop the takedowns of Scott. 
We see uh, Solomon sort of doubling up on the strikes now, feeling a wee bit more confident as opposed to throwing those single shots. So Solomon even threatens the underhook now and might make uh, Clinton think different, think different twice about going for the, for the shoot. Good, good solid job. Nice inside leg kick as well, just setting things up. Scott giving different looks to Solomon. Solomon answers. Just finding that range, pawn out that jab. Nice oh, right beautiful. Up Anticipated the takedown and just used that. May not have landed clean, but what it also does, it fires off a warning shot to Clinton. Yeah, it's exactly what Richard was just saying a moment ago, to give him something different, make him think about that takedown. Clinton's doing, he's doing all the right things. He's alternating the heights, alternating the heights, and throwing a variety of shots to. Uh and that time, Solomon sprawled, but there was no takedown coming. And Scott could use that to example in on a single, and the, the quickness he covered distance to grab a hold of that leg. But good defense so far by Solomon. Excellent. Solomon is doing excellent defensive work here. Good surging jab again from Clinton. I like seeing a mixed martial artist really use the jab because it is very much underutilized in mixed martial arts. It's one of the most effective tools. It's one of the most effective tools. That right, it is underutilized. But it, it, every, it sets up everything. Mm -hmm. Solomon again in on that seat. Just get it. He's got, he's got it under oh, the head. Oh, it's, it's a guillotine oh, from a kneeling position. I think he's after doing. You think he's after injuring himself? There could be an injury there. I think you're right, Richard Coyley. I think he tapped prior to the um, prior to choking sister. He just walked by me. The coaches say that's why he is the best in Ireland. There's definitely an injury there of Clinton Scott, but still Solomon King Simon grabbed that neck and absolutely tried to pull his head off and gets the finish. Two for your win.